شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان الحمد لله الله تعالى بلست us with the month of Ramadan part of a long hadith in Sahih ibn Khuzayma whereby Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encourage us about four things Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said wastaksidu fihi min arba'i khisalin increase in the month of Ramadan four things four aspects for habits do four things khaslataini turduna bihima rabbukum two aspects two habits two things that will please your lord wa khaslataini la ghina bikum anhuma and the two things that you are in need of amma al khaslatani allatani turduna bihima rabbukum fa shahadatu allah ilaha illa allah wastaghfirunahu as for the two things that makes your lord happy pleased number one is shahada la to say to testify that there is non word of worship, worship basically la ilaha illa allah you can just say la ilaha illa allah or ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah and wastaghfirunahu and say istighfar seek forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and two things wa amma latani la ghina bikum an huma and the two things that we are in need of fatasaluna allah al janna wa ta'uzuna bihi min an nar and amongst them, them two one is to ask allah for jannat and to seek protection from allah taala from the hell fire in hadith we find daily we are encouraged to say la ilaha illa allah there is a hadith rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said jaddidu imanakum refresh your iman renew your iman the sahaba said how ya rasulullah we are already muslim so he said bi aksari qawli la ilaha illa allah by saying uh, frequently la ilaha illa allah so the more we say la ilaha illa allah our iman increases and many times we do to say things we act in a way that uh, our iman is compromised in front of allah taala so our iman is hampered so when we say la ilaha illa allah it's like a refresh button we press it and our iman becomes stronger insha allah so if out of ramadan we should say 100 times a day in the month of ramadan we should increase it insha allah we can say la ilaha illa allah keep on saying la ilaha illa allah and time to time we say muhammadur rasulullah or we just can just say ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu we can say either way the easy one is la ilaha illa allah i would ideally it's best to do 300 times there is an opinion that to uh, whenever there is increasing amount like durood salat on the prophet in the from fridays they say if anyone does 300 times plus then they will be amongst those who do increase amount of, of time and then istighfar asking allah for forgiveness subhanallah rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam again in the hadith he says inni la astaghfirullah 70 marrata wa fi riwayatin 100 marra He sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself said I do istighfar 70 in another narration he says I do 100 times istighfar daily so if rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam does istighfar 100 times a day and in the month he said increase it so again ideally good amount will be 300 times if possible and of course the benefit of istighfar is so immense the hadith is at-ta'ibu min az-zambi kama la zambala A person who does toba is too far after committing sin it is as if he has done no sin at all and istighfar makes a person come out from tight situation difficult situation it has baraka in the wealth in the health in the children and so on and istighfar washes the sins away cleanses our ruh subhanallah and there are many benefits and asking allah for jannat man sa'ala allah al jannata salasa marrat qalat al jannat allahumma adkhilhu al jannah if a person says three times o oh allah and admit me to jannah then jannah says o oh allah admit him to jannah subhanallah 
And Allah, our Prophet is telling us to increase this, asking Allah for Jannat in the month of Ramadan. So throughout the day when we are fasting at night, we should do it as much as possible. And asking Allah to save us from Jahannam. Again, our Prophet said, if a person asks Allah to save him or her from Jahannam three times, Man Allah is salam. He who asks Allah to save him or her from Jahannam three times, then Jahannam says, oh Allah, save him or her from Jahannam. So in the month of Ramadan, we should keep on asking Allah these two duas. If we are saved from Jahannam and if we, are, we have Jannah, then this is a great, Allah Ta'ala says, Thalika al fawzul azim, a great success is to achieve Jannah. This is the month of Ramadan. Out of so many other things, Tilawat and Nawafil, may Allah Ta'ala give us tawfiq to hold on to these four uh, attributes and qualities that we keep on saying in the month of Ramadan, La ilaha illallah, istighfar, asking Allah Jannah and asking Allah to save us from Jahannam. May Allah Ta'ala give us tawfiq.